What is up guys? Rotten Apple here and today I'm going to be showing you another terminal tutorial but this one is going to be not the same as the other one. This one is going to be quite different actually. Today I'm going to be reviewing a, an application called Linkslit. And now Linkslit, let me just go ahead and show you Linkslit. Linkslit will appear in your utilities. Or, just kidding, no it won't. Link, Linkslit, oh yeah, that's right, I moved it to my dock. So Linkslit is down here, you can't see it because I have the um, recording set not to show my dock, but it is right here, right underneath my cursor. And basically it looks like a little computer screen with a green Lynx face on it. And you can find the download for it at this um, address. I will put the link in the description. And basically Linkslit, was the first ever web browser before there was Firefox, before there was Chrome, there was Linkslit in a galaxy far, far away. So basically, once you have this installed, you're just gonna want to do open hyphen a Linkslit. Doesn't have to be capitalized, but you do need to have that L E T on the end. You can't just do links. It has to be Linkslit. And then type in the name of any address you want to go to. I'm just going to do HTTP colon slash slash Google dot com. And you'll open it up. It'll open up Linkslit as you see here. This is Linkslit. And this is Google. As you see, there's the search, there's the images. And this is basically a all text format web browser. So if I go to Google right here. This, this right here is that. This is the text form of all other web browsers. It is the first web browser ever to be made before there were graphics. So there was just text, plain text format. And this can be very useful if the website you're using has very complicated interfaces such as Facebook. So let's say I want to exit out that and I want to do open hyphen a link slit http www.facebook.com and we wait for it to load up. Some websites take longer than others. Yeah, and this one is this one is not working for some reason, I, I guess. I don't know why, but oh there it goes. Yeah, so as you can see, here's email and login. And so if I were to type in my login information, which I'm not going to, I could actually post on Facebook and and update my status and like other people's statuses and do whatnot, whatever it is you do on Facebook. I don't go on Facebook that often. And as you can see, it's update your browser. You're using a web browser that isn't supported by Facebook. You don't say use Internet Explorer, Mozilla, Firefox, because this is a very outdated piece of technology, but it's very cool. It's an antique and it's, it's very, it's, it's not the most practical thing in the world, but it's very, it's very cool. So the controls for this are G is to go to a new URL. Up and down arrow or tab is to step through links on a page. Right arrow or enter or return is the same key is follow a link to a new page. Left arrow is go back to the previous page you were on. Control R, reload and resize your window and space or the plus key is scroll down and B or minus is scroll up and that is all you need to know guys hope you have fun with Linkslit see you next time